the lysozyme an important part of human defense system it was discovered by sir alexander fleming in 1921 which consequently led to the discovery of penicillin for which he was awarded nobel prize in 1945 Now, how the story began? Accidentally, his own nasal mucus fell into a container which consists of a certain strain of bacteria. It can be, it could be seen that these uh, mucus had the ability to inhibit the growth of a certain strain of bacteria. he further realized that this was largely due to the action of a protein within the mucus that caused the bacterial cell to lyse or break apart this protein is none other than the lysozyme lysozyme is found in different parts of human body in tears in saliva and also in nasal mucus it is also found in human blood stream killing bacteria yes actually lysozyme is really important for its special action towards bacteria it actually catalyzes one special reaction which results uh, the killing of a bacteria it catalyzes the cleaving of the peptidoglycan component of the bacterial cell wall you can see in this image that this is the uh, the uh, a bacterial cell wall and this is peptidoglycan layer where lysozyme acts like all other catalyst lysozyme also like the same way it also decreases the activation barrier so that reaction can happen easily and uh, the speed of reaction also increases you can see in this image it is a lysozyme in unfolded state which contains 129 amino acid units molecular weight 14.7 kilo dalton this unfolded state further form this kind of 3d structure which has two domains alpha helix and beta sheet the sky blue color represent the alpha helix and purple color is here uh, for beta sheet these two domains form a cleft where enzyme uh, where substrate can bind you can see here is substrate seeds perfectly in enzyme uh, enzymatic pocket you can see clearly with this video peptidoglycan of bacterial cell wall has two main residue in acetyl glucosamine and in acetyl muramic acid together they make a long strand polysaccharide via 1,4 beta glycosidic linkage and and create a very steady wall of a bacteria active site of the lysozyme target in this area 
here is the closer view of the active side of the enzyme to amino acid plays vital role to break the glycosidic bond glutamate 35 and aspartate 52 together they interact with the nam and nac residue to hydrolyze the glycosidic bond here we can see two most important interaction for its catalysis mechanism now look at the mechanism how these two amino acid show the activity in the enzyme pocket there are two proposed mechanism first sn1 pathway which is phillips mechanism and other is sn2 mechanism it has a covalent intermediate consistent with current data mechanism in this part we can see the all the steps of the mechanism to hydrolyze the polysaccharide initially nam forced to have half chair conformation by the enzyme it's really because of the half chair conformation allows to attack amino acid aspartate 52 as efficient residue and this conformation provide enough space for direct backside attack amino acid residue glutamate 35 acts as a electrophile donor and donates proton to the glycosidic bond and this allows aspartate 52 at acts as nucleophile uh, it attacks at c1 of the nam and breaking the ether bond and produce a covalent intermediate then intermediate is attacked by water at c1 position of nam and this allows the removal of aspartate 52 residue and the enzyme get back to its original relaxed state Can understand how this enzyme breaks the uh, peptidoglycan linkage and why it is so important. Glycosyme works on bacterial cell wall and to open the cell wall. Without this cell wall, water goes into the bacterial cell by osmosis. The cell will eventually rust or lysis due to increases the internal pressure thus if the glycosidic bond completely breaks down between the two residues the integrity of the cell wall lost kill the bacteria the lysing ability of lysozyme make it incredibly valuable to the immune system benefits of lysozyme lysozyme is only one of many parts of the immune system it helps infection management uh, healthy inflammation management and wound repair support etc lysozyme is very effective against bacteria that have peptidoglycan cell wall example gram positive bacteria this includes number of bacteria from streptococcus to listeria however it is less effective against bacteria cell wall made of other polysaccharide Lysozyme plays a vital role to build the immune system, especially for newborn one. Deficiency of lysozyme causes pneumonia. That is why breast milk contain high level of lysozyme. Overall, lysozyme is very well studied and understandable enzyme.